In this video, I will talk about Booster 7's rollout to the launch pad. Crew 3's return. Another Starlink launch. And a new date for SLS's wet dress rehearsal. But before starting the video, I wanted to remind everyone watching that today marks the 20th anniversary of SpaceX. Comment down your favorite SpaceX moment so far. Hi and welcome to another video of SpaceX Update. This morning, Booster 7 was rolled out to the launch pad again. A few weeks ago, Booster 7 suffered a major blow with a flattened transfer tube during a cryogenic test. Many thought B7 would be scrapped, but SpaceX fixed the booster in a short period of time. And it is now again on the launch pad. As soon as it reached the pad, near the orbital launch mount, it was immediately hooked to the load spreader of the crane for lifting to the OLM. Now we can expect some cryogenic tests followed by, maybe, a static fire test? NASA's SpaceX Crew-3 mission ended successfully after 177 days in space. SpaceX Crew Dragon Endurance splashed down safely in the Gulf of Mexico at 12.43 a.m. Crew-3 was SpaceX's third commercial crew rotation mission to the ISS under NASA's commercial crew program. After NASA canceled all Soyuz mission, for now, SpaceX is the only American company that can deliver American astronauts to the ISS. A few hours after Crew-3 returned to Earth, SpaceX launched its 18th mission of the year. Falcon 9 carrying another batch of 53 Starlink satellites lifted off from the Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center at 5.42 a.m. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, ignition, and liftoff. Landing like deploy. The first stage booster supporting this mission launched and landed for the 12th time. Ah, beautiful. Stage and, one landing confirmed. And stage one has successfully landed on our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. This is the 111th recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage booster. Before I end the video, here is a quick update on the SLS rocket. NASA now says the agency is planning to conduct another wet dress rehearsal of the SLS rocket in June. NASA couldn't complete its first intended wet dress rehearsal due to multiple issues. Failure after the third attempt forced NASA to finally scrub the test. SLS rocket along with the Orion spacecraft was moved back to the vehicle assembly building on April 26 to fix a faulty valve and some other issues. The agency now says most of the issues have been fixed. Do you think SLS can take humans back to the moon again? That's it for now. If you like the content of this channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any SpaceX-related news in the future.